time to learn something new. So let's go ahead and create a new design. We're going to learn about color this time. So to do that, let's going to let's pull out some spheres because we're going to pretend these are marbles. So I'll pull out eh, about that many. Okay. So when you have a shape selected and when you first pull it out, you probably see this box here. This is the sh the shape properties. And one of the shape properties is its color. Now all of these different shapes have a default color. But we don't have to stick to that. We can change in any that we want. So I have this object selected. I have the sphere selected. I'm going to click on the color right there. And I can pick from swatches. That's what these are. So I'll just pick a color there. So we've got green on that one. Or you can click on custom and use the color wheel here to pick a custom color. Now if, when you pick pick a custom color, pay attention down here to this hex code. If you want to use this specific color in another design, you'll need to come into this design, or whichever one you uh, created the color in, and just copy that color, and then you can paste that in to your other design, and uh, you will have that specific color. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and do some swatches here. And make these kind of colorful. Let's see, what haven't I done yet? I've got green. Uh, I've got, well, let's do a nicer blue. There we are. So we've got some colors going on there. Now, there's something called grouping, and we'll talk more about that later. But what I want to point out now. is that when you group something, all of the colors change to just be one of the colors, probably the last one selected. But you don't have to stick to that. You can click on multicolor, and these are still grouped, but they still have their original colors. So this is useful sometimes when you're uh, working on something, you wanna see the different parts, even though they're grouped together, you want to be able to identify the different shapes within the within the group. Uh, we'll learn more about groups later, but I just wanted to show you that that you can group things together, and if when they change color, don't freak out. Your color information is still there. But one last thing uh, before we go: these colors um, are only for presentation. You usually can't get um, a 3D print of multiple colors. Now there are ways of doing it, there are exceptions, but for the most part when you 3D print your design it's just going to be in one color of plastic. So uh, this is for your own help, help you imagine uh, what your project might look like if it was in full color and also to help you identify those parts. Also we have a name here uh, these every every design has this um, sort of random name that's applied to each of these. You can just click on the name and change it. I'm going to change this to Color for Marbles. There we are. Our dashboard. There we are. We've got it. Color for Marbles. Now there's another thing you can do from the dashboard, you can click on this options tab and go to properties. And there are a few things here that you can change. You can change the name here if you want. You could give it uh, a description. You can enter in tags, like you could say marbles, uh, so it's easier to search for. But here's what I really wanted to get to, privacy. So there's a couple things you can do. Uh, you can list it as private, which means only you can see it and only you can make changes to it. Or you can change it to public. And I'm going to encourage you to make it public because there are a lot of designs on Tinkercad, and later we're going to learn about uh, borrowing from other people's designs and changing them to make your own. So you're really contributing to a community of, of designers when you uh, make it public like this. I like to say sharing is caring, so um, that's a little bit hokey, but it, it gets the point across. 
uh, this will make it so that other people, especially your fellow students, can search for and find your designs and uh, appreciate them and uh, maybe even uh, make something like that, you know, borrow it and and use it in their own thing. Now there's some licenses here, don't worry about this. I'd say just leave it as the attribution share alike and save changes. So I'm gonna do that with this as well. I'm gonna change properties here. I'm gonna change this to Minecraft pickaxe. There we go. And I'm gonna change it to public and save changes. And there we are. So uh, why don't you go back uh, and into the Minecraft pickaxe and change colors of the blocks. Make it look more like the Minecraft, the actual Minecraft pickaxes. So that's, a, that's something you could try out. Um, but as always, just go ahead and create a new design now that you know about color and see what you can make. Just go out there and play and have fun.